Hello, hello everyone. We are continuing our Little Dreamers book with Yayoi Kusama, and she was born 1929, and at least now, and when the publishing of the book was made, she is still alive. She's an artist from Japan, and she also is in the US. Art was always a way for Yayoi to express herself, but her parents did not approve of art as a career. Yayoi, however, could not be stopped. Even when her mother took her drawing tools away, she made her own. Eventually, she convinced her family to allow her to study traditional art. However, she soon grew tired of the conservative style of painting and became increasingly interested in abstract impressionism movement in the Western art world. In 1958, she moved to the New York to New York City, where she worked on paintings, made sculptures, and short films. Some of her most famous artistic successes, though, were her happenings, art events and performances conducted around the city. Yayoi's work is unique and recognizable in her frequent use of polka dots and bright polka dots in repeating patterns. Much of her creative process is marked by her focus and fixations. She's known for creating hundreds of paintings in single series and filing those paintings with, with and filling those paintings with thousands of dots. The continuous pattern covers her canvases so that the final work is without, com without composition, without beginning or end. She used dots as symbolism for humanity and existence. To her, humans are just dots on earth, which is just a dot in the universe filled with billions of other dots on and on into affinity. She carried this idea into her immersive installations that she called infinity rooms. They are mirrored rooms with, that create an illusion of looking into affinity. She decorates them with different objects she created, sometimes shiny balls, decorated pumpkins, and more polka dots. These spaces created a unique experience for the viewer as they feel simultaneously enclosed and expansive. In 1973, Yayoi returned to her home to country in Japan and launched a successful literary career. Now in her 80s, Yayoi has gained another wave of success in her affinity rooms, popping up all over the world and on social media. With her career that spans seven decades, Yayoi forged a path where there was none. And that's our story today. I hope you guys enjoyed the book. Have a good day. Bye.